Hello, this is Dr. Mark L. Gordon of the Millennium Health Centers, Texas. Today's one minute lecture is on clomiphene citrate versus n clomiphene citrate. Both these medications are selective estrogen receptor modulators or SERMs, which are a class of drugs that bind to estrogen receptors in the body and exert different effects depending upon the tissue. Clomiphene and N-clomiphene are two commonly used SERMs that have similar structures but differ in their pharmacological properties. What we call clomiphene is really a combination of two forms called zooclomiphene and E-clomiphene. In women, clomiphene citrate under the trade name Clomid has been used for decades as a fertility drug by increasing both follicle-stimulating and luteinizing hormones, leading to ovulation and enhanced hormone production. In men, clomiphene citrate has also been used off-label since 1980s to treat hypogonadism, this too by increasing the release of luteinizing and follicle-stimulating hormones from the pituitary gland, which in turn can increase testosterone production and improve fertility. n clomiphen on the other hand, is the pure single form of clomiphene. It has been developed as a treatment for hypogonadism in men with the aim of avoiding some of the side effects associated with the mixed form of clomiphene citrate. The pros for clomiphene citrate are, it has been used safely for decades. It stimulates ovulation in women with infertility. It increases testosterone production in men with hypogonadism due to head trauma and neuroinflammation. Clomiphene has fewer side effects than testosterone replacement therapy on our endocrine system. The cons for clomiphene citrate are side effects such as hot flashes, mood swings, and headaches can occur, but rarely. It might not be effective in all cases of hypogonadism in men, especially those with a history of ibuprofen use. Also, it can have adverse effects on the endometrium in women. In the 20 plus years that the millennium has used clomiphene citrate, we have had a few cases of mood swings and subjective visual issues. With over 800 clients on clomiphene citrate for up to nine years, we still feel that clomiphene citrate is a safe first use product. The pros for n clomiphene are it is a pure single form of clomiphene, it may have fewer side effects than clomiphene citrate. It may be more effective than clomiphene citrate at increasing testosterone production in men with hypogonadism. The cons for n clomiphene are it is compounded and costs significantly more than clomiphene citrate. It may not be effective in all cases of hypogonadism in men, and it may have adverse effects on the endometrium of, win of women. In conclusion, the Millennium started a clinical application program in 2014 using clomiphene citrate in our veteran clients. This was a three-year program looking at different frequencies and dosing of clomiphene citrate and its response on testosterone production. The conclusion was a dose that was pulsed in a regular manner provided the greatest production of testosterone with the least complaints of side effects. A paper on our protocol for clomiphene citrate use will be available at www.tbihelpnow.org under the science section. Until the next one-minute lecture, be well. Thank you.